Hello and welcome to Ashes of the Singularity Escalation. The game is an out of the box experience depending on the version of Proton you use. It seems that for now the game is only an out of the box and playable experience using Proton 3.16. I've tried Proton 5.0-7 and also Proton 5.6 G2 as well and both failed to launch the game at all. Furthermore, since the launcher can be a little bit tricky sometimes, I advise to add percent command percent slash no launcher as a launch option to simply skip the game launcher. You can change the Proton version used for this game by navigating to the game settings and tick the Forge Compatibility Tool checkbox at the bottom. There you can select Proton 3.16. To add the launch option, hit the launch options button and in the new opened window enter the command provided in the video description. Besides this, I'll update the video description if I encounter a more recent version of Proton working with the game. Enjoy! Imagine a future in which humans have become so powerful that they can individually control thousands of semi-sentient machines spread across an entire world. Now imagine that they have gained the ability to manipulate individual particles across time and space to seed worlds with these machines. What do you think would happen if you guessed that an endless war would rage across the stars? You would be right.
Welcome to Ashes of the Singularity Escalation. This is your nexus. It is the hub of all your economy. If it's destroyed, so are you. This is bad. Try to avoid this. The nexus also creates engineers which are vital for base building. Your nexus will always start near some metal deposits. These generate a small amount of income and metal extractors can be built to increase yield. Using your engineer, build a metal extractor over the metal deposits. Congratulations, you've just made your first step towards conquering the galaxy. In the top left corner of the screen is the resource panel. This displays current resource stockpiles, storage and income per second. Metal will automatically flow into your stockpile until you reach maximum storage. Once that happens, any additional income will be wasted. As your income increases, you will need to ramp up your production and spending to compensate. To start spending metal, build a factory in order to produce frigates. For the purpose of this tutorial, build and capture speed have been increased. Factory completed. Time to start producing some brutes. Production structures such as the factory can be set to repeat build queue. This allows it to endlessly produce new units, as long as you have the resources to support it. This will be enough brutes to get some work done. Send them to capture the generator to the west. Generators are defended by neutral units called creeps. Creeps must first be cleared before it can be captured. Well done. Now that you have this generator, you will gain income from the nearby deposits, especially after building metal extractors. You're currently gaining metal, but not any radioactives. This is a radioactives region. Capture the generator with brutes and build a radioactives extractor on the deposits. The more extractors you build, the more income you will gain. have both metal and radioactives income, it's worth investing in cruisers. Build an armory with an engineer. While your armory is building, it can be assigned a rally point. This allows newly built units to automatically move to the front. We have captured a generator.
Now that you have both metal and radioactive's income, it's worth investing in cruisers. Build an armory with an engineer. have both metal and radioactive's income, it's worth investing in cruisers. Build an armory with an engineer. Select the armory and you'll see a wide range of available cruisers. Each cruiser has a specific role to play in the counter system by being specialized against a particular unit type. Hovering over the build icon presents a tooltip which explains the role of each unit. Building a mixed unit composition and adapting it to counter your opponent is vital. There's one more kind of region which we haven't yet mentioned. This is a Turinium generator. When held long enough, a critical mass of Turinium will result in victory. Turinium is only acquired when holding more generators than your opponents, and capturing multiple Turinium generators will increase the rate of accumulation. Turinium generators are well defended with creeps. Zeus cruisers are ideal for clearing them, but enough frigates will also get the job done. Send some forces to capture it now. Well done. At the top of the screen, you'll see the progress towards critical mass of Turinium. As your army grows, you will need to increase your logistics capability. Logistics acts as a population limit that must be increased to sustain larger armies. If you reach your maximum capacity, you will be unable to produce new units, Logistics is displayed at the top of the resource panel. It shows your current amount, a maximum, and a plus symbol to quickly increase it. We've sent you a dreadnought to cap your logistics. Upgrade your capacity now. Good. Upgrading logistics costs a third resource called Quanta. You will not be able to upgrade it again until you have more. Quanta is generated from quantum relays, which are built with your engineers. Build one now. Here's some additional engineers. Using multiple engineers to build a structure will reduce construction time. Logistics is just one of many quantum upgrades. Open up the quantum upgrade panel and you'll see a range of economic and combat upgrades. Quantum upgrades can be applied infinitely, but ramp up in price each time they are used. We're sending you some additional quanta. Upgrade your weapons damage. Building quantum relays and upgrading your forces can be a great way of getting an edge over your opponents. Capturing this next generator could be a challenge due to being on a plateau. Your forces will take damage for some time before they're able to ascend the high ground and sight their enemies. Unless you have a large numbers advantage, it's worth revealing the high ground with air units and orbital scan or radar. We're sending in a scout plane. Notice how the artillery cruisers are able to safely engage the enemy defenses, so long as they have vision on their targets. While base defenses can be countered, they are a valuable tool for defending regions. Similar to units, base defenses have roles in specific targets they excel against. Certain base defenses can also upgrade to more powerful variants. Use an engineer to build a smarty system and a constable near the radioactive generator. Remember, hold down shift to queue up one structure after the other.
your radioactives region is under attack. Your defenses will deflect this small raid. Air units cannot be targeted by most weaponry. Specific anti-air weaponry is required to combat air. Their fast speed and ability to fly over terrain makes them ideal for harassment and reconnaissance. Build a Sky Factory, then produce a Fury Squadron. Furies are deadly against bombers, but can't attack ground targets. <laughs> To differentiate between metal and radioactives, look at the shape of the deposit. Metal deposits are circular, while radioactives are triangular. This is consistent with the minimap icon and when zooming out. Build a Sky Factory, then produce a Fury Squadron. Here comes another Hades Bomber Squad. Destroy them with your Furies. By now you'll have generated some Quanta from that Orbital Relay. Quanta can also be spent on Orbital Abilities which are Utility and Offensive Support Powers. Open up the Orbital Ability Panel and you'll see a range of abilities ranging from Economic Bonuses to an Orbital Strike. To use an ability, click on the icon, then select an area on the map or a target depending on the type of ability. If an orbital ability is greyed out, you either don't have the required structure or enough quanta to use it. Here's some more quanta and all the required structures. There's a group of enemy units hidden here beneath the fog of war. Reveal them with the sensor sweep, then place an offensive orbital to destroy them. Enemy units destroyed. Well done. Nice work. Destroying your enemy's forward bases will limit their income and production. Orbital abilities can also be blocked in certain areas due to orbital jamming. This is your opponent's enemy base. Try to detected. cast an ability and observe the red circle with the jammed display. We've sent some strategic bombers to your nexus. These deliver a devastating payload with a wide area of effect. Use them to destroy the orbital nullifier and you'll be able to use orbitals in this area.
Damage destroyed, well done. Now you can decimate your opponent's base with awful strike. Destroy your...